everybody, and welcome back to STF TV. We have officially reached our 10th episode, and we want to say thank you for everyone that tune in every single week. Today we have the usual, as well as some interesting opinions on this year's valedictorian candidates, as well as a game segment that you will not want to miss. We can't wait to get this started, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome back to SDF News with Priya Singh and Val Jerez. For our world news, a South Korean art student ate a banana that was part of an installation by artist Maurizio Catalan called Comedian at Seoul's Liam Museum of Art. The student No Hyun So said he was hungry and taped the peel back to the wall after consuming the fruit. The museum later replaced the banana. The incident recorded by a friend lasted over a minute and the museum stated it would not seek damages against the student. The artwork featuring a banana duct taped to a wall is periodically replaced. Catalan responded to the incident saying, no problem at all. This isn't the first time bananas used in Catalan's work have been eaten by visitors. In 2019, a similar incident occurred at Art Basel in Miami. Now, we would like to invite Maeve Millmeyer to discuss some exciting St. Catherine's news. Do you want to see the finest band arounds concert? Come downtown to the Niagara Artist Center on St. Paul Street this Saturday, May 20th, to watch the fine print. Come bring St. Francis Pride and support two current and one graduate Phoenix students. Come support Lucas Glazier on the drums, alumnus Phoenix, uh, Ethan Mason on the bass, and me on the guitar and vocals. Doors open at 7.30 p.m., but come early to make sure you, have the se you make the 70-person capacity. We'll be playing around 8 p.m., just in time to see the sunset off the side of this rooftop venue. Tickets are only $15 or pay what you can. Can't make this concert? It's okay. We're playing again June 29th at the Warehouse Concert Hall. Check out the Fine Print Band on Instagram to get more info on our upcoming big gigs. During Taylor Swift's era tour stop in Philadelphia, she interrupted her performance of Bad Blood to defend a concert goer in the crowd. Videos, <laughs> videos circulating on social media show Swift ex expressing concern and telling the crowd to stop. The exact reason for her intervention is unclear. However, the show also featured thousands of ticketless fans outside the stadium singing along, along in support. The Eras tour, tour marks Swift's first tour in five years and will continue with upcoming shows in Massachusetts. It's officially senior season with lots of excitement for our grad students these next two months. From prom to grad, our Phoenix graduates will be fully booked until the end of the school year. A current buzzing topic in the hallways is our prom after party at the NET campground. Seniors will be roughing it in tents and cars for a final night of fun with their fellow classmates. We encourage all seniors to fill out the NET and prom Google Forms as soon as possible. Hope to see all of our Phoenix grads there. The second highlight to our, our senior year has been the election for this year's valedictorian. Five hardworking seniors have been selected for run, to run in valedictorian this year. Congrats to Maeve Nalmeyer, Ryan Johnson, Simona Parakia, Annika Smith, and Antea Kublik. Make sure to place your votes and may the best Phoenix win.
Badger. Remember to accept your offer of admission and submit your residence application and fee before the June 1st deadline. Check your Brock email regularly so that you don't miss any communications from us. We can't wait to welcome you to our community and for you to break through at Brock. Your time is now. Niagara College Canada is welcoming you back to tour our beautiful campuses in Welland or Niagara-on-the-Lake, in person or virtually, to help you get the career you want. Choose your way at niagaracollege.ca slash explore. Hey Phoenix, I'm Carly Flora. And I'm Emma Cleaney and welcome back to SCF TV Sports. In global news, a nine-year-old a Brazilian girl named Bella Samos is the youngest player ever to attempt qualification in the U.S. Women's Open. Set to tee off at California's acclaimed Pebble Beach course for the first time in its 78-year history in July. That should come as no surprise given Bella's already impressive resume. A U.S. Kids Golf World Champion for the Under-7s category in 2020, she defended her title a year later before clinching another victory in the 8-year-olds competition in 2022. Bella still has a few attempts left to upsurge the championship title for the U.S. Women's Open, but will have to wait at least another year after finishing a tied game, placing 59th in the 67th player field. Our boys varsity lacrosse team played this morning at 10 a.m. They unfortunately lost against Holy Cross 14-3 and now they are done their season. Our varsity girls soccer team is playing in the semifinals today at 3 p.m. at St. Paul. The varsity boys team is also playing in the semifinals tomorrow against Holy Cross at 3.30 at Brock. Good luck to both teams. That's all for sports. Tune in Thursday. Brock on Campus Housing is home to nearly 2,800 students every year. There are four distinct styles of residence that each offer a unique experience and sense of community. Let us help you find the perfect space to be successful and meet lifelong friends. For fall 2023, Brock is pleased to guarantee a space and residence for full-time undergraduate students in any year of study who apply and pay the residence application fee by June 1, 2023. The guarantee does not apply to Brock Suites, which continues to be first come first served. To learn more and apply, visit brocku.ca slash residence slash apply. Hey Phoenix, welcome back to another episode of STF TV. I'm Catherine Tucker reporting live from St. Francis. To begin today's weather segment, I wanted to tell you about this week's sunny weather. Today we will reach 23 degrees, so make sure to drink lots of water throughout the day. Tomorrow, the weather will be a bit cooler, around 13 degrees, but the sun will be out so you can still wear your shorts and kilts. Thursday's weather will get a bit warmer, about 16 degrees. The skies will be clear and it'll be a perfect way to start off the long weekend. Remember that there will be no school Friday or Monday, so take advantage of the nice weather over this weekend as well. There will be a high of 22 degrees on Saturday and a high of 19 degrees on Sunday. It's time to open up your pools and go to the beach, Phoenix. On another note, springtime is coming and that means some of your favorite things are coming back into style. Right now, we are in the middle of both strawberry and tulip season. Task Tulip Pick Farm is open and running for those interested in spending a fun day in the sun and leaving with a beautiful bouquet self-picked. And the Fenwick Berry Farm is also open to pick your own strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries to get your very own choice of fruits. That's all for today, Phoenix. Stay tuned for more weather news. So the best way to immerse yourself in the life of a Brock student is to come join us for a campus tour. You'll be calling Brock your home over the next few years, and you wouldn't want to buy a house without seeing it first. When I took a campus tour in high school, I really got a good sense of Brock's tight-knit community, and that's ultimately what sold me on coming to the school. On our campus tour, you get to see all the lovely buildings we have at Brock, as well as the services that our students use and the ways we best support them. My favorite part about the campus tour is the Rankin Family Pavilion, because I get to show students my favorite place to study on campus, as well as talk about the services in the Shimon Tower. Hey Phoenix, and welcome back to our 10th game show. Today we are going to be playing five second roll. We are joined with two of our grade, in grade nine? Ten. Grade nine and 10 students. Charlotte. Jack. 
And so the objective of this game is to name three things of each category within the five second time limit and then ring the bell. With each player, they'll get uh, 10 questions and once you give three answers to your category, you get a point if you do in the time limit. So, uh, Whoever has the most points at the end of the game will win a prize. Okay, so first one's for Charlotte. I'm gonna do the timer here. So once it's red, <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll count you in. So name three countries in five seconds. Three, two, one. Germany, Canada, America. Okay, good job. So one point. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Point for you. Okay, so next one's for you. Um, name three famous Ryans in Ryans? five seconds. Go. Uh, Ryan Gosling, um... <laughs> Find it. <laughs> nah, you suck. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, okay. So you get the next one. No points there. Uh, next one's for you again. Uh, name three things you can find in the ocean. Go! Uh, plastic shells and fish. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Plastic. Plastic. Shows above. So it's now 2 oh. Gotta get some <gasps> points on the board here. Hard. Um... Name three animals that you can have as pets. Three, right. two, one, go. Uh, hamsters, dogs, cats. <laughs> Good, Good job. <laughs> go break that bell. <laughs> Clutch it down through the okay, table. So two, one, Charlotte's in the lead. Um, next one's for you. Name three French words. Like go. Three French. Bonjour, au revoir, merci. Good job. Oh. That's good Spanish. Okay, so three, one for her. Um, next one is name three baseball teams. Nope. Okay. Uh, Jays, uh, Rays, Astros. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Catching up, three, two. Okay, next one is three words that rhyme with lake. Three, two, we go. Bake, cake, sake. <laughs> Are we oh, yeah, sake. Is sake a word? I don't, like, yes. God's sake. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. For yeah. yeah. Sake. Um, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For heaven's sake. Yes, it's a word. Okay. So now four, three, four, two. Or four, three. Four, two, yeah. Four, two. Okay. Four, two for sure. Look at the showmanship. Next I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to fudge a score. Um, name three songs by Drake. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Uh, nonstop. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Gosh, that you hear on. that? That's the sound of failure. It's the pressure. LJ, be I'm nice. sorry. <laughs> Okay, so still four, two. I, could, I couldn't do three five, tricks. Eight, she's four, okay. Um, next one's for her. Name three types of cake. Uh, confetti, chocolate, and velvet. Good job. Um, I feel so like he's got harder <laughs> questions. <laughs> no. Okay, this next one's good. Um, name three animal sounds. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Bark, meow, quack. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> What's the square? <laughs> Five, three, <laughs> Charlotte. Okay, um, <laughs> this one's for you. This one's good for you. Name three makeup products. Uh, blush, concealer, and contour. Good job. Wow, well, that bell's getting annoying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, six, three. Name three clothing brands. Okay, Nike, oh. Adidas, uh, Under Armour. Okay, he was good at that anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um, six, four. Okay, name three elementary schools in St. Catharines. St. Anne, St. Dennis, and St. James. She's just good. She's locked okay. in. Um, seven, three. Next one <laughs> is for you. Name three ice cream flavors. Uh, strawberry, uh, Neapolitan, and vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Neapolitan? I just something like that. It's like the, the one, I don't know. Neapolitan, it's okay, I'll give it to you. Close enough, close enough. Okay. Do you follow Seven, five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. Name three colors that aren't in the rainbow. Um, Two. White. What? Uh, no, you lost. Wow, that's like the first one she didn't get. Oh, shoot. Okay, so still at seven, five. Next Round. one's for you. Name three chocolate bars. Um, Hershey's, Reese's, Snickers. Perfect. Those are good ones. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Name. Okay, seven six now is the score. Name three red fruits. Uh, strawberry, apple, and grape. Grape is not. I don't. Red grapes. There's red grapes. Yes, that counts. That ca that's, they're called red <laughs> they're grapes. Purple. They're called grapes red grapes. Grapes are universally known as purple grapes. Okay, but they're called red grapes. All right, all right. <laughs> There's red grapes. 
Okay. Um, eight six is now the score. Um, name three car like types of cars. Okay. Uh, there's muscle cars, SUVs, and trucks. Not a boy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're now at eight seven. Only got oh. a one point lead here. We have two questions left for both of you. You can clutch this up. Here we go. Name three different vegetables. <gasps> uh, carrot, peas, and asparagus. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, she got it. Okay. Oh my gosh. She's at nine to seven now. She kind of won, but we're gonna ask you the last <laughs> question anyways. Um, name three Disney movies. Oh, um, Bambi, Toy yep. Story <laughs> one, and Toy Story two. <laughs> That would have been a lead if you went <laughs> Toy Story 1, 2, 3. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. Um, so Charlotte did, in fact, win a 9-7 lead. Uh, we do say that. We have a little, we have a little uh, gift for the winner. So that's all for Thank our STF you. game <laughs> segment. We oh, will no, see you guys all next show. And our winner here wins a stylus Brock, Brock t-shirt. Thank I you. I hope you're going to Brock. Cherish that. Probably. All right, guys, thank you. We'll see you next, see you next time. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to wait.